and we have judgment page of wands eight of swords and overall energy is seven of wands so this feels for some of you like giving up not seeing what you can do in the situation to move yourself out of it um maybe not trusting um yourself that you're good enough that you can do or maybe you just don't trust your judgment at this time and that's why like example if you get some kind of offers or situation coming towards you next week you won't be sure straight away what to do and you should i expect accept something or not it could be uh for some of you do you feel um money involved situation coming towards you or financial situation so it could be work related or um some kind of big purchase or something so definitely could you know lead some kind of um situation where you need to sit down and count and calculate what you can afford what you cannot uh, for others, obviously, because it's judgment, it could some could be legal situation. But I would say for many of you, I do feel it's gonna be judgment card. What I like is talks about second chances. Is second chances second some kind of second chance gonna be given to you? If you example. In a, just as an example for everyone it's going to be different and don't take it just straight forward if you apply, uh, wanted to go after like let's say accounting job in a particular company and you didn't get it you might get a, either chance to apply for the same very company now or similar company similar position similar money this kind of thing so it doesn't need to be only particular everything same but history will repeat yourself somehow and you might feel that oh i'm not sure if i'm gonna get it i didn't get it first time for some of you do feel it could be Mm, some kind of offer coming through or communication or person may come into your life it could be a uh, fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius maybe person this person is going to come back to your life and is going to offer you second chance you know to have them like a friendship it could be a romance or something but you just not I think this week you will be struggling to to know what to do and if you should accept this or you just couldn't gonna believe it that really i thought that's never gonna happen you know i thought that's impossible it's never gonna happen so for everyone is gonna be a different situation but i definitely see for most of you uh something is coming back making come back or maybe you will decide to give someone second chance approach someone again is is as i said you know everyone's situation is going to be different but main team is the same and seven of ones you know is just um it gives a feel that you're giving up that you not sure should you fight should you go for it should you take it should you say yes should you say no this kind of you know because seven of wands stand enough for you for yourself what you believe what you want but maybe when you get gonna get a second chance and something you're just gonna be really really is, is it is it really possible you know um let's clarify with lenormand's card deck and we have a moon we have a key and we have a book interesting we have a book um, for quite a few signs now already so it's <laughs> definitely some kind of um, 
think could be learning uh, experience for many of us, you know, uh, this upcoming week, just by observing our stuff. But in your case, do you feel that something's going to, was was hidden in the past, going to come back, you know, as Moon Dust talks even in Lenormand, it's about hiding things, you know, some secrecy, some lies or some some kind of things you don't know what's going on um behind the closed doors and with the key here keys gives you an answer key gives you a possibility to find out the answer key gives you option to open um this gate and let someone free or set yourself free and all because uh, it's so much to come or you already learn a lot about, you know, in being in this situation, you learn a lot. And now you deserve this key to receive and to learn even more, you know. Um, it could be just a spiritual journey you learn more or how to um, deal in certain situations, you know, um, like to be more positive in certain things. When I look at this card, it's just like... Um, not sure how many of you read a book uh, called Secret. So all this was saying, you know, we are we getting what we think we deserve. So if you thought you haven't deserved a previous position, you know, you've been offered or you've been trying to get a person or something, this time around, if you're going to repeat the same mistakes, it's going to happen the same. That's why history is repeating. Why? That's why we have judgment saying the same situation is coming or similar situation is going to appear now. So you already learned your lesson. A lady should know what to do, that you need to believe in yourself, trust yourself, trust in divine, trust in divine timing in the universe what is presented to you and to sometimes go and grab it that opportunity so let's see what um love messages we have for you for upcoming week and we have judgment again oh my god people 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 tower in reverse Ten of Cups and overall energy, Nine of Cups in reverse. Oh, beep, seriously. <coughs> Sorry. Definitely judgment for some of you might mean different things. Work, family, friends. But when you repeat yourself in a love reading... I can, you know, just say that whatever haven't happened last time or you failed to do it last time, take some kind of action, drastic action to change your situation. Now the situation is going to appear again and it's up to you to decide, up to you to go and get and have this Ten of Cups. Even though at the moment you might feel that you maybe not emotionally ready to take this part you know, or something but look at the, another beautiful card is underneath this thing is a known card and doesn't have like a bad or, or positive meaning it's just saying something unknown and it's like a card you know like a devil uh not a devil sorry like a um full energy just take a leap of fate just go and get it go, accept what's coming your way you know whatever it is in your life for some of them it could be maybe you decided a few times that you want to take a divorce you know but you decided not to and just give another chance or maybe yet another chance uh, maybe your partner was cheating and you thought oh, okay i will forgive him this time it's not gonna happen again but it's all in your hands. I think the situation, whatever you want in it, is going to repeat itself. And it's up to you what you're going to do. You either need to change, make a tower, a pride, and made major changes in relationship to have this happy 
cups, you know, maybe if let's say if your partner keeps traveling or something for a job or something, maybe you can agree finally him find a job somewhere here so he could spend more time with the family, not being away from the from from you and stuff. This kind of thing. I'm not suggesting. I just saying as an example for everyone is going to be different. For others, you'll need to say goodbye for something, you know, um, like things. Oh, my relationships never work out. Or maybe you even was married before, and you think, oh, second chance. I'm not sure, even sure if I want to get married. It's not gonna work out. It's all up to you what you're gonna get. You know, if you want happy marriage. You want to get married, but just because of the first time round didn't work out doesn't mean you need you can go and get it right now. So let's see what clarify cards gonna say to you towards this. That fish. Oh yeah, some kind of communication, some kind of news gonna come towards you will um, help you out to make up this mind. So we had page of here, some kind of communication, something is coming and it's quite sudden, quite unexpected. And in the end, uh, sorry, in the end, <laughs> in the past, if you did struggle to put an end on something or you put the end and just thought, okay, I'm just not going to talk about it, just live my life, I'm not going to figure out what's happening here, just going to move on. This similar situation will still present yourself until you're going to learn your lesson. So live in this moment, live the single uh, feeling you have, you know, analyze it and think, you know, what you can do better. For a couple of ones, I do think um, who is a happily coupled, someone might give you as a present, a travel, a holiday, um, weekend away or spa day or something for two of you or your partner may present it to you. So this kind of energies are coming through. So, okay. All about second chances, Cancer. All about second chances. Okay, and your this person love oracle message is you are limitless recognize this truth you can do anything you choose to do interesting one of the signs had this already he's had a gemini or taurus Okay, at times we are too close to a situation and can only see things from one perspective. There is multitude of possible outcomes to the situation. Take a broader outlook, release the need to control what is happening, and allow inner, your inner knowing to assist you. Things always work out as they should. Here you go, guys. Don't fight whatever is happening. Is happening for the reason. Don't try to hold on to the last straw, you know. Don't, don't do that. If someone's leaving your life, let them leave. If someone coming to your life, let them in. If any, you presented with some kind of opportunities this week, take it. You know, it's all about believing and recognizing, you know, um, that whatever is happening is happening for the reason, isn't it? It's a beautiful message just coming through. Um, and I believe second chances are very great because we learn all some kind of lessons already. We have that knowledge. And um, I trust you and you should trust yourself that you will know what to do this time. So thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, hope you see you soon. All the best. Bye.